What's up guys, this is Sam here again with another PS4 jailbreak video for you. I'm gonna go ahead and address a few things in this video um, compared to my first video, my second video, and now I would like to talk about the most stable way to jailbreak your PS4 today. That's one. And guys, we're gonna address how you can have your exploit offline. You can jailbreak your PS4 without connecting to the internet. Well, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So guys, on 21st July, uh, the person who actually released the initial exploit actually updated his exploit with potential stability improvements. Now coming to my previous video, I actually recommended to go ahead and get Ali Asif's website being the most stable that actually worked for me. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. Since there's so many updates happening every single day, all the exploits are being updated, Mira is being updated. I've been spending hours trying to make my PS4 work. I've had about numerous 30 to 40 different restarts, and I wanna make sure whatever information I'm giving you guys is actually solid. So I've tried everything out, and this is my findings. All right, let's get right into it. So first thing first, Ali Asif's website being the most stable one, I went ahead and tried this out first. And uh, to be honest, I was actually pretty shocked because the first time it completely froze. Then I had to pull the plug on that. And then the second time I tried it out, it just had no free memory and then boom, it was gone again. So now the third time I opened up Spider-Man and again, just gone. Then I tried it again. I started up Spider-Man again. It just started acting really weird. Like the screen went completely dark and nothing would load up. If I press the PS button, it would go back, but it really made a big problem. So then I tried it again one last time, and this time it says jailbreak successful. When I opened God of War, it was just, again, just frozen. Nothing would happen. I tried switching it off. I tried closing the game, and it would just not do it. Uh, long story short, it was really, really, really unstable. Uh, compared to my previous video, where that was the most stable that was actually working for us, all right, time to go ahead and switch things up. So I went to my second favorite website or the second most trusted website, that's Doc Modder. I'm gonna drop a link in the description. And trust me guys, this one was and is the best for you to jailbreak in. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how this actually works and yep, let's go. So I actually added this to my bookmarks. Quick, and I recommend you to go ahead and do the same. Just add it to your bookmarks so you'll be able to access it right away. And I'll explain how this works offline as well. But I'm going to go and show you how to do the jailbreak first. It's really simple, guys, and I'm going to show you now. So when you go ahead and access the website, the first prompt you're going to get is, do you want to start the jailbreak? Go ahead and click OK, and then you should get jailbreak complete, just like that. And then go ahead and click on Miro plus Hen or Miro plus no HP. And as you can see, waiting for clients. And guys, as simple as that, it's done. But yes, when I ran God of War, this is the error I got. But I addressed this in my previous video as well. Uh, not every game works on Mira. You'll have to go for Mira, no HP. So that's exactly what I did. Just show you a quick demonstration. And there you go. Just like that, God of War perfectly works now. I'm just loading it up. And there you go. Perfect. All right, guys. So now let's go ahead and see how you can have this exploit offline so you don't have to keep connecting to the internet every single time. Step one. Find the link in the description, go to the link, and once you see it, do you want to start the jailbreak, hit cancel instead. So once you hit cancel, it's going to automatically start caching the website. So if you notice here, can you see the caching status keep, you know, going up? And then it should give you a message saying caching is complete. All right, now that is cached. So what I'm going to do is go to settings, go to network, make sure I disconnect from the internet. So since I've already advised you to go and bookmark it, so go to your bookmarks, click on that Doc Models website. And as you can see, here it is and it's perfectly cached over here. So there you go, guys. This is how you do your offline jailbreaking. But just to, just to give you guys a really good idea, I've tried this literally so many times. I've restarted my PS4 so many times, and though it was still offline, I've had success on the first tries literally almost every single time. I've had it fail maybe once or maybe twice at the max at 10 attempts. So it's kind of the opposite right now. Out of 10 times, eight times you actually pass and you actually get the jailbreak done. Just as proof guys, I'm gonna show you a video uncut just from the time you log in. And I'm gonna to go to settings first, make sure I'm not connected to the internet, go to network, switch off my internet right there. And there you go, it's off. And I'm gonna go back to the browser now and load up the website and give it a second. There you go, it's loading up. 
click on OK. Just so that guys, jailbreak really complete, and then I choose Mira no HP. Click it, and you know, you know the drill. Wait for clients, and then you get the second message. All right, so second message is out too, and it should say complete. Load successful. All good and done. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna start running a few of the apps, and I'm gonna show you that the debug settings are there. As you can see, but I'm going to go back now. I'm going to start a few apps over here, Yakuza to start with. And you can see that it switches on. No glitches. Unlike Ali Asif's website, that was pretty glitchy. Most of the websites on most of the games were not working. So as you can see, Yakuza is actually up and running. So I'm going to go out to, I'm going to close this application. Let's go to another one. Okay, let's try God of War. All right guys, so as you can see, God of War works as well. Everything works perfect. And this is one last example. Let's try and open up another game. So even closing the games works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and try, let's say, Spider-Man. Okay, so let's go try Spider-Man, which was freezing really, really badly in the first one. So as you can see, looks like Spider-Man is working as well. Yay! And it's extremely stable, guys. I can I can assure at this proof right here that your PS4 jailbreak is now pretty stable. Thanks to Doc Motor, hats off to him. He's been able to do a really good job and make this work for all of us. Okay, so now let's go and talk about my favorite website that's back online. Yep, you're right. This is the Doc Software Forums, and this is the website when you log in. So this is the website you're gonna see, but you gotta click on Forums again. And once you click on Forums, that's when it's going to redirect to you to the actual forum website. You have different sections over here. That's information, news, discussion, uh, resources. So general gaming discussions is where you have to go. And right under that, under PS4, make sure you click on PS4 fake package games and updates. So that's what you need to go. And once you go into this particular website, all the different posts people have up. But guys, be aware that you need to be logged in. So you can go and create an account. So like just like this, you can see I have an account right here and I am logged in. So just make sure you have an account and log in because you do have loads of games, lots of posts and people posting all the games over here. Uh, in order to go ahead and, and get a game, I'm gonna show you an example. So I'm just gonna choose uh, Spider-Man. I know we've been using Spider-Man way too much for this particular video, but let's go to Spider-Man right here. So once you open up Spider-Man and uh, you see the game here, and the links are going to be hidden, guys. So in order to go ahead and see the links, you have to drop a like to that particular post. So then you can actually access the, the download files. So guys, this is how it works. And this software, I'm sorry, this website is absolutely trustable. I would suggest you to go ahead and give it a shot and get all your games from here. Guys, go ahead and drop me comments if you have any questions regarding this jailbreak. Make sure you drop me a comment so I'll be able to get back to each and every one of you as much as possible or as quick as possible. And if you want me to go ahead and make any more tutorials on a specific topic about PS4 or anything else, let me know and I'll look into that and I'll see if I can make you a tutorial as well. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you're going to enjoy your jailbreaking time as well. Now that it's all stable and perfect, go ahead and have fun guys. Don't have to waste too much time trying to jailbreak your PS4 for us anymore and, uh, guys if you really like the video go ahead and drop it a like and do show me some support with the subscribe and uh, I do other videos as well so uh, I do travel videos and I also do a lot of uh, product reviews and tutorials so guys do stick around on the channel go check it out and show it some love well until next time guys take care bye bye